Uh, during medical school, uh, the first two years uh, here in the United States, uh, we uh, do textbook work. And the uh, second year, we're going through a histology textbook, and I saw a word, bronchiolitis obliterans. I, I just, it was an interesting word to me. And I raised my hand and says, professor says, what is it? What is this? And the professor says, nobody knows. It's a mystery. And I oh, okay, and kind of forgot about it. But then I came to Boston for training pulmonary uh, medicine and critical care. And I worked with a professor who had a computer containing 5,000 lung disease cases. I, I was in heaven. I mean, this is fantastic. And uh, this was a very primitive computer, but it was good enough for me. So I punched in a code 89. Remember, it was 89. And that was the code for bronchiolitis obliterans. And there was other codes for asthma and emphysema and so forth. But 89 was, was for bronchiolitis obliterans. I, I, I was excited. Oh, this is fantastic. I get to unravel the mystery. And this, this was an ancient computer. <laughs> it had little switches. <laughs> you go switch up and switch down. It had about 16 of them. And so I coded 89. And out came 100 cases. Oh, this is fantastic. And, and so I took a look at those 100 cases and I found 50 of them that they were bronchiolitis obliterans. And that was first described in 1907 in Germany. It was a German physician who did that. And it's a deadly disease. It's from nitric acid, sulfuric acid exposure. And it, and it destroys the, the bronchioles, which are these tiny little airways. And that's the bronchiolitis. And the obliterans, it obliterates them with scar. That's deadly. And unfortunately, it was a deadly disease and from exposures to these acids and so and then and that was well known that was 50 of those but the other 50 and nobody's ever seen anything like these other 50. they had patchy infiltrates on the x-ray that's that's not airway problem that's in the lung and and they had they didn't have airflow obstruction which is seen in this other disease they had the, 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 they, they, were, they weren't able to get oxygen because their lungs were filled with, with inflammation and not scarred, which was really exciting. And so I went to the professor and showed him the case. Yeah, I can't get up here. You, you've got to do my work. And I <laughs> Three months later, I was. I kept working on these cases and cases. And I showed him another, another case and the same thing. Why well, you keep showing me this case more? Oh, 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 oh. And, and, yeah, you gotta you gotta do my work. And so oh, I go back to the to the lab. And uh, and then uh, three months later, I said, oh, this is this is nuts. I, I, I gotta go back and show him another case. In the meantime, my friend. Say what? What's that light on up there in that blue building? The blue building was working. It's well, what midnight? It's one in the morning. What's 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 what, what? What are you doing up in that room? I say, hey, I'm discovering a disease, and and so I went in the third time. <laughs> he gave me the same thing. He said, why do you keep showing me this case? And he said, hold it, hold it. I, for, I just stood up for myself for once and says, hold it, hold it. I have 50 of these just like this. And he said, why didn't you tell me that before? <laughs> and this is, this is fantastic what you've done. And, and so he published these cases in the uh, New England Journal of Medicine, uh, which is worldwide. And, and uh, it is fantastic uh, to do that, to discover this disease. And it's called bronchiolitis obliterans, but it's also called organizing pneumonia because it was inflammation, not only of the airways, but of the lungs themselves. But it was inflammation, and that's treatable with, with steroid therapy, with prednisone, with uh, corticosteroid therapy.
And that was amazing. Most lung diseases you can't do anything about. They're scarred. But, but this was curable. It's just, just phenomenal. And so I <clears throat> got to give uh, lectures and seminars all over the world. And I taught the doctors and how to diagnose it and treat it all over the world. And, and then continued to. And uh, it saved, uh, saving uh, thousands of lives. It's a rare disease, but still. It, uh, it has been uh, fantastic uh, because it's, it, it, it has been saving people's lives and all because of technology. Never would have been able to do that without, without that code 89. <laughs> and and so, uh, so there's the story with, with technology 